This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website or online store, make it with Squarespace. In Mauricio Sarri, Chelsea have hired a football philosopher, a coach who believes that the game should always be played a certain way and sets his teams up both to win and to entertain. Our team always tries to take the initiative and play our football, regardless of venue, opponent or situation. That is our philosophy, Sarri has said of his style, known as Sarri Ball. Sarri Ball has a number of clearly defined features, honed during the coach's spell at Pescara and Pauli and Napoli. These are the retention of possession, especially in the defensive third, verticality of passing in progression, and quick interchanges in the attacking third, usually on the ground and relying on a world of movement between the players, and, in defensive mode, a high line and press. These features also rely on certain tactical identities among his players. The goalkeeper and centre-backs need to be excellent on the ball, forwards must show great awareness and understanding, and the central deeper-lying midfield player is the fulcrum around which the team moves. Sarri sets up his team in a 4-3-3, the formation he used most often and successfully at Napoli. In this system, the fullbacks are expected to push up, though Marcus Alonso is more attacking on the left than Cesar Azpilicueta is on the right. The midfield is staggered, so that Jorginho sits behind a shuttling N'Golo Kante on the right and one of Mateo Kovacic or Ross Barkley on the left, who advance more. Ahead, Ed Nazard occupies the left-hand space with licence to roam and make things happen, while on the right, William or Pedro are expected to provide more width and defensive cover, and Alvaro Morata tends to lead the line, looking for runs in behind or moving to create space for Hazard. Sarri's 4-3-3 is geared to the principles of his style of play, and Jorginho is the key. Chelsea are a possession-based team, but possession is not retained for its own sake. The purpose is to move the opposition around to create room for quick, vertical transitions into the attacking third. This begins at the base of the team. As Jorginho drops off, he forms a series of potential passing triangles with the keeper and centre-backs so that Chelsea can rotate the ball while moving it forwards, compacting the space without a great risk of losing possession. The fullbacks offer options out wide, in case a team is pressing aggressively high, and at times, the centre-backs can also break the press themselves by carrying the ball out of defence. That is one of the reasons that David Luiz finds himself back in favour at Stamford Bridge, while Antonio Rudiger is also capable of carrying or raking along pass forwards. Neither are as polished as Kaludu Koulibaly was at Napoli, but the idea is the same. Once gaps have appeared, Chelsea play with lots of movement between the lines. The aim is simple. Progress the ball through a player moving forwards, either by finding a direct pass to an advanced attacker, or by a player dropping off, returning the ball and moving into space once again, but always with a general movement up the pitch. They also push the ball forwards towards a dropping player before switching the play wide, especially on the left where Alonso will overlap before feeding the ball inside to Hazard or whipping back a low cross. In midfield, N'Golo Kante is no longer tasked with destruction at all times, but instead shuttles back and forth as much as Allen did for Napoli, providing return passes to Jorginho or an option free of a covering player to take the ball and then move it wide. Ross Barkley, who seems rejuvenated under Sarri, looks to do the same, but also has room to push further forwards and assist the Azard Alonso pairing on the left. It's a feature of Sarri's teams that they often attack most aggressively down the left-hand side, and a quick look at the preferred lineup shows that even in defence, Sarri's Chelsea are more attacking in the left half of the pitch than they are in the right. Once Chelsea are in the attacking third, they rely on individual skill and quick interchanges to generate opportunities. Most of this is done along the ground. Crosses are generally favoured only when they are quick, low pullbacks across the box. Again, much of this is generated on the left, while Morata, William or Pedro, and even Kante are tasked with making diagonal runs into the danger area. These runs can also occupy defenders, so that Hazard can simply drive towards the goal himself or take a pass in space from Alonso. These quick interchanges require great understanding of teammates' movements. As journalist Gabriel Marcotti explained, Sarri tends to train at a high pace to ensure his sessions do not run for hours and to stop players getting bored. That emphasis on chemistry and repetition allows his players to pass the ball confidently into space, knowing a teammate will be there or on his way. It's this that creates the mesmeric attacking patterns of Sarri ball. But the whole attacking system, from possessional build-up through vertical transition, is what allows these quick exchanges to materialise, often against a disjointed, tired defence. In defence themselves, Chelsea play a high line to compact the vertical lines and to deny the opposition space. Their press is assisted by this. It's not exactly a Klopp-style Gagan press, but they do try to stifle and suffocate the opposition in their own defensive third and win the ball back before attacking again. 
They look to mark passing lanes while also attacking the ball, forcing the opposition backwards or into an error, moving across to swarm the side of the pitch where the opposition have possession. The midfield and even the fullbacks get forwards to assist with this, and this is one of the two issues caused by Sarri Ball, the exploitation of space in front of Chelsea's defenders or behind them. Chelsea can look vulnerable to quick counters, much as Sarri's Napoli did. The other is fatigue. While Napoli played scintillating football, they didn't win Serie A under Sarri, coming close three times, but ultimately falling away at the end, having started the season strongly. Despite never having won a trophy, Maurizio Sarri is beloved by players and fans alike for his team's style and attacking emphasis. Koulibaly described him as a genius, and a scholar, while Dries Mertens said, It feels like he's already played the game out in his head, and on the field you have an extra man. With an excellent attention to detail, a clear style of play, and most of all, teams that excite, Sarri has retained his tactical philosophy and made a strong impression on the Premier League. Creating a beautiful website is easier than ever using Squarespace. One of our favourite functions is the online shop element. They make it really easy if you want to connect directly with customers with templates, drag and drop options, anyone can do it. For a free trial, go to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash TIFO football for 10% off your purchase. If you're ready to make your new business, make it with Squarespace.